So this is the first time for me um, reading from a script. It may not sound that great. So you probably read the title. I'm gonna be criticizing Koneko. So to not make this a toxic mess, I decided to put a part where I say what, is, uh, what I find good about him. So the first thing I think is good is that he uploads daily. His videos require some effort to make since you actually gotta know what's happening on Roblox. His daily reporter style videos are something that I could never pull off even if I had the time to try. He sometimes showcases new games that are very good, which I also respect. I might be about to say the opposite, but he definitely is putting out some constructive criticism sometimes, which I can also respect. And for the bad stuff, the reason I made this video is due to the amount of Koneko Kitten viewers who commented on, uh, on my Adopt Me video. So I decided to check his videos out on that matter. What I found really surprised me. When Adopt Me first crashed, crashed Roblox servers, he said that they did in fact crash the servers. The second time around, he, he's saying that Adopt Me is pushing Roblox and he likes to see Roblox keep going in that direction, which I can respect. But when it crashed a third time, he made a video arguing why it didn't crash Roblox without taking into consideration what others may argue. Then in his next video, he says that, that he put out a strong argument throughout the entire video without looking at the arguments made by other people against his point. And when he does show other arguments, he handpicks the ones that are made by toxic five-year-olds who are enraged that they can't play their favorite game. Believe it or not, even with a strong argument put out throughout the entire video, uh, you still got comments like this. Unsubscribed! Supporting Adopt Me while they obviously bought the game every update and break the servers non-stop! You stupid! Adopt Me is crap garbage game. It should be deleted, idiot. Frowny, angry face. Unsub, unsub, unsub forever. He's obviously making fun of handpicked arguments that are purposefully bad. I prompt you to take one close look at the comment thread in the Adopt Me video and you can see me putting out arguments that are reasonable and have put thought in it. If he just does that to, uh, to make the video a bit more fun and likable, he still sets himself up to make fun of the people who are arguing against him. So let me get this straight. <laughs> Because I'm not going with the popular opinion and immediately trashing Adopt Me in every single video of mine, people are willing to label me off as a bad YouTuber because I don't agree with that narrative and opinion. And lecture them. Yeah, it's a Roblox game, but the stuff that I've seen going towards the developers and the game itself over the past few days because of the site bugging out is just, just honestly embarrassing. Like, it's 100% embarrassing to see this community just go up in arms about something that isn't even the problem instead of actually trying to convince others of his point. When you got such a large community that thinks everything you, do, you say is the divine truth, you cannot just say anything at all that you want without actually considering other arguments. And then he has the audacity to say that he values journalistic integrity. Are, are you kidding me? Like, how stupid can you people be, dude? Like, do you guys realize how stupid you sound trying to say, Oh, this Roblox game is too popular. Get rid of it. My channel is a massive platform. We have over a million subscribers in this channel, accumulate thousands upon thousands of video views per day, and I think it's incredibly important of an influencer of my size to do the right thing here and to not jump on these mindless hate mobs. I mean, I absolutely could. You know, I'd probably get a lot more likes on my videos and stuff if I went ahead and went the popular opinion, but I value journal journalistic integrity more than just jumping on hate mob. In other words, powering manipulation. Also, the servers went off before the Adopt Me uh, update drop because uh, there was a timer and people started joining the fuck out of it way before uh, the update actually dropped. <laughs> 